So Oppo is just about ready to roll out the clever new ColorOS 11 launcher to its army of smartphones, beginning with the Oppo Find X2 and the Find X2 Pro. As ever, ColorOS 11 is based off of Android OS, in this case the latest, freshest Android version 11, which is only available on a couple of other smartphones right now, basically Google's Pixel phones and that OnePlus 8T. And as usual with the Color OS overlay, you get plenty of bonus razzmatazz slathered on top of Android to add even more functionality and features to Google's OS. Now I've been testing out Color OS 11 on this here Oppo Find X2 Pro to see what some of the best new bits are all about. So here's my full tips and tricks guide for Color OS 11 if you're expecting the update imminently on your own personal Oppo smartphone. And for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now the tagline for Color OS 11 is Make Life Flow, which of course immediately makes me think of booze. Kind of says a lot about how my brain works, and it also means that I'm basically straight on board with this thing. Overall though, I've got to say, the look and general feel of Color OS 11 isn't vastly different from previous iterations. I mean, that settings menu has definitely been cleaned up a little and rearranged so it makes a bit more sense. For instance, the likes of Do Not Disturbed has moved into the sound section, and the payment protection has shifted from privacy to security. It certainly all makes a bit more sense in my brain, and I found it a lot easier to find what I was actually looking for in Color OS 11 versus previous iterations. Although you'll definitely find some baffling stuff still in there, such as for for instance, the navigation section appearing in convenience tools. That's where you can ditch the navigation bar at the bottom of the screen and get a bit of swipe gesture navigation on the go instead. And thankfully, it seems that pretty much all of my favorite features from previous Color OS versions have reappeared in Color OS 11 and in some cases been improved and tinkered with. So for instance, you can quickly and easily drag down that notifications bar from anywhere on your desktops. And you can also now drag all of those app icons on your desktops down to the bottom end of the screen so you can quickly and easily select the app you want. And if you're looking for that last feature by the way all you need to do is long press on an empty bit of desktop space and swipe along to more and you'll find the icon pull down gesture feature right in there and once again in color os 11 there is a strong emphasis on customization to make the phone more personal and unique to yourself and that begins with the personalization section in the settings menu in this section of the settings, you can change up the themes, the wallpapers, all the basic stuff. You can even have a tinker around with the icon style. So you can get those apps looking just the way you want them, including resizing the actual icon itself and the font beneath. If your Oppo phone has an in-display fingerprint sensor, you can even change up the animation on this thing to all sorts of whizzy bang efforts. And with the likes of the Find X2 Pro as well, you can also tinker with that edge lighting to get it looking super, super disco funky. My personal favorite is definitely this amber orange effort for incoming calls, lovely stuff. And with ColorOS 11, you can also channel your inner Neil Buchanan and craft your own super arty always on display. And don't worry, no actual artistic talent is required. This one was whipped up by my five-year-old daughter in around a minute and a half. All you need to do is hit up the settings menu and then go to home screen, lock screen, and always on display and scroll to the very bottom and it's right there in always on display. To create your own, just scroll down and hit custom patterns. You've got a few different arty styles that you can choose between. All you've got to do is select a style, select a color, and away you go. Let your imagination and your finger run riot. And once you've done, just save it, and then the next time you hibernate your phone, your masterpiece will appear before your very eyes, ready to mesmerize friends and family alike. <clears throat> if you dive on into the Color OS 11 display settings as well, you'll also see that the dark mode has been changed up for the better. As well as the ability to auto switch between light and dark and all the usual shenanigans, you now have a dark mode settings section. So this now gives you three separate stages of darkness to choose from, from a slightly dark, more of a kind of a gray color, all the way up to the Super Balls Mega Black. You can also adjust your wallpapers to suit the dark mode. You can adjust icons to suit the dark mode. You can actually change up the contrast uh, depending on the ambient conditions. And you can force apps that don't actually support dark mode to go dark anyway for a more consistent vibe. But one of my favorite new Color OS 11 features is definitely the three finger translate option. And this is really, really handy if, for instance, you're checking out the website for a foreign restaurant that you're hoping to visit on a trip. You've got the menu open. And of course, it's all in a completely different language. You don't know what any of it says. So when you're on the page that you want translating all you need to do is tap with three fingers at the top of the text that you want translating and then slowly drag down to cover all of the stuff that you need to be translated and once you release your fingers you'll notice at the bottom one of the new options in there is translate now this feature actually uses google lens smart so it works for a myriad of languages and as far as i can tell it's super accurate and then once you're done you can actually copy all of the translated text and then paste it into an email a messaging app whatever you want and in fact there's a couple of different ways of accessing this feature you can also drag out 
out that side menu as usual and you'll see the translate option in there too. Another feature that's been upgraded for ColorOS 11 is Oppo Relax and in version 2.0 it'll make you feel so incredibly zen that you'll probably lose control of your bowels. As usual you'll just find Oppo Relax buried away inside of the app tray. This gives you the option of listening to all kinds of relaxing sounds and music and general noise. All of the usual guff is of course present and correct from beachy sounds to nighttime forest campy sounds which actually just make me think of Friday the 13th and do the opposite of relaxing me. Hang on, I definitely think I heard someone creeping around in the bushes with a massive f off machete just then. But the majority of them are really lovely and the great thing is that they continue to play even when your phone is hibernating. Perhaps you're feeling nostalgic for a place you once visited or lived in, well just tap on explore and you can have a bit of a peruse of a number of cities including Beijing, Shenzhen, Tokyo and listen to some audio actually recorded from those locations. Got to admit on days where I don't leave the house because of various lockdown shenanigans and what have you it's actually quite confident having just like sounds of the city drifting out of your smartphone. And if you go to the unwind section there's a variety of small simple things to uh, keep you occupied in there including the ability to pop bubbles or interact with swirly patterns which you probably get more out of if you're on various class A drugs. Admittedly I didn't really see much point in this section that is until I had to amuse my five-year-old again while I desperately ran off and made a massive pot of coffee and then that actually did the job quite nicely. And if you're a fan of your PUBGs, your Call of Duties and whatnot, you'll be glad to hear that the Game Space feature has been spruced up for this version as well. Everything looks that little bit nice and you've got tons of great features packed in there, including the fresh new network acceleration feature, which is definitely good for those online titles. And when you're actually in a game, you can quickly and easily pull out that Game Space menu with a quick swipe from the side, like so. And here you can tinker the brightness levels, you can play around in Messenger and WhatsApp. And of course, you've got those notification blockers as well, which is really helpful if you want to stay focused on the game. Of course, if you're super serious about staying focused, then just tap Immersive Mode and that will immediately block all notifications, calls and everything. It'll also prevent navigation gestures and things like that from screwing up your game as you're playing. You could also chat about your favourite games by tapping on Game News. And then there's also an autoplay feature, which is particularly handy if you've got any games that uh, require a lot of harvesting of resources, which can only really happen over a long period of time. Basically, just tap autoplay. As you can see, the phone can then hibernate and you can gather all those resources in the background while you're having a bit of a kip or doing whatever. So right there is my Color OS 11 tips and tricks guide just showing off some of the best new features that have been shoved in there but of course a lot of the best updates and tweaks and everything for Color OS 11 have actually happened beneath the surface. So for instance the launcher now hogs less of your phone's memory, transitions between the different menus and everything happens a lot smoother, your apps will load up faster and just the overall experience is a lot better. And you'll find loads and loads of little tweaks and improvements just buried away in there as well. So for instance, if you dive into ringtone and go to vibration, you can see you can actually sync up the vibrations with your ringtone rather than them just being completely random and disconnected. So overall, while at a first quick glance, ColorOS 11 doesn't appear to be vastly different from previous versions, there's actually quite a lot of new stuff packed in there. And I do actually really, really like it. The sense menu still isn't quite there. I'd like it to be a little bit more refined, but overall, good stuff. But that's what I think. What about yourself? What are your own favourite new ColorOS 11 features if you've had a bit of a play and a fiddle definitely let me know those down in the comments below please do put subscribe ding that notifications bell and have yourselves a lovely rest of the weekend cheers everyone love you